This is John's Ute. John, you have a bloody beautiful HA 47th, 11th month, 1981. She is a bottler, and let's go through it. So this one, um, John hasn't had it too long. So a little bit of its history is it's come from uh, the Toowoomba area. It, John's the third owner, so it's gone Toowoomba, Brisbane, and it didn't last long in Brisbane, and then John's found it on car sales, or um, gum tree, he can't actually remember, he said car sales, gum tree, so let's make it up and say John found it on car sales, and he's taken it home, she lives over the border in New South Wales, and John hasn't had it long, but he knows about us, and he knows what we do, so what did we do to this one, and why is it at Mr Land Cruiser? Disc brakes, in 1981 it had uh, the, the first of the 47s, the two H's had drum brakes, so it came in here for the, the disc brake overhaul, all new components, we use some second hand bits, then um, do wheel bearing swivel hubs, flexi lines, uh, booster set up, all brand new, brand new calipers, rotors pads, blah blah blah, and while it's here let's throw a 5 speed in it, so when we do a 5 speed, um, we use them, we wreck a lot of 60s, those that follow us know that we grab the 60, uh, five-speed H55F. We fully rebuild it in the transfer, and we um, throw them in. Uh, mainly 47s. We'll throw them in anything, but we put the five-speed box in there, and it's as close as you're going to get to plug and play. Um, the boys still change the handbrake system, change the holes in the floor, um, tail shafts get sent away. We do little things, clutches, rear mains, flywheels. So now, when it leaves today, John's got disc brakes and a five-speed. And John tells me he's only owned it for a little while. Um, first big trip on his list. He's getting it ready to tour. He's not quite there, but um, definitely ready to drive it back to New South Wales. And he's getting the Birdsville races prepped. So that's the first big journey. His dad's owned a, um, a shorty before, so that's where the loves come from. And now it's John's turn. What else has John done? Um, since he's owned it, very, very little. So it was already, it's had um, a bit of a resto on the panels. Uh, but John's done new suspension. He put the EFS in there. And um, while it was here, when we did the brakes and stuff, we also do um, tie rods and wheel alignment. So um, underneath, pretty schmick and ready to go home. Up the front is very, very basic. Uh, LED light and a homemade bar just gives it a 47 look and behind me uh, is the tray again very basic wood floor um, the means to lock his fridge in and a toolbox the toolbox houses solar panel and a battery and that's it she's just a nice little tilly but we will go and have a look inside check it out in here I love it it's as basic as basic gets it is virtually there's um, probably one thing that's stopping it from being Full original and that is a custom made by John himself a console parcel shelf above um, my head with a little um, light hooked up and that's it so other than that he's put um, steel roof but um, he's also got some carpet in there but have a look at the dash there is on this dash uh, there is no extra gauges there's no drill holes there's the original stereo from 1981 still in it the original floor mat, the original dash pad, steering wheel, no cracks, and the original seats. And looking at stuff like this, those door cards have been in there the whole time. So he has had it painted, but I dare say that um, it didn't need much work because going by inside that hasn't been painted, she is really beautiful and well kept. There's um, not much other show and tell apart from that gear stick is now a five speed gear stick. He's gonna love that, drops the revs by um, I drive the same car, drops the revs from three grand at 100k an hour down to two and a half. So you'll be able to hear yourself think and the fuel uh, economy comes down as well. Nice move, John. The only other thing I didn't mention about the outside is the rims. <clears throat> I uh, looked at the date and they're um, 1988, so they've come off something um, Land Cruiser Hilux wise in 1988. Could have been anything. Um, apart from that, it's stock okay. So this is just a short, sweet little walk around because um, it's not fully set up as a tourer yet. The pure beauty of this one is, um, more for the purist, just how plain and simple it is. But with those couple little upgrades, John is gonna love it. So he's on his way here now. It's leaving this morning. 
HJ47, 11th month, 1981.